Hey, welcome back to my studio. If you're new here, my name's Morgan and I make all things party and event. And today I wanna to show you how to put together this high chair tutu. It's a fun addition for any first birthday party and comes together really simply. So follow along and I'll show you how to make it. The first thing we need to do for today's project is measure the outside edge of the high chair's tray table. Because every high chair is a little different in its size and shape, you want to measure yours so you know exactly how long to make the tutu. For reference, I'm using the IKEA high chair and mine is 16 inches long across the side and on the front. So I'll be making my tutu 48 inches long. Now we need to transfer that measurement to our main cord, which we'll tie all of our tool pieces to. Now I'm using this eighth inch cotton cord, but you could use any kind of ribbon, twine, or yarn. You just need something that you can attach all your tool to. So I'm gonna measure 48 inches out of my cord and then just simply cut the ends of that. To make the tutu, I'm using six inch wide rolls of tool and I've chosen a pastel rainbow color scheme, but you could use any colors you'd like to suit your party. You'll also need a piece of cardboard that's cut to the length that you want your tutu to be. So mine is 12 inches long, but if you'd like yours even longer, just cut this cardboard to the size you'd like. In addition, you'll also need a sharp pair of scissors. Instead of cutting my pieces of tool one by one, I'm gonna wrap my tool around this piece of cardboard and cut a bunch of them all at once. So I'm gonna line up one edge of my tool with the end of my piece of cardboard and I'll hold that in place with my thumb and then take my roll of tool and roll it all the way around my cardboard until it meets back up with that first edge. That's gonna count as one piece of tool or 24 inches in length. So I'm gonna hold the end of the tool in place with my thumb and continue to wrap my roll of tool around the cardboard multiple times. Once I have several layers of tool around the cardboard, I'm going to bring that roll back to the same edge of where we started and cut it free. It's important that we always start at the same end, otherwise one piece of tool might be half as long as it needs to be. The next thing we need to do is cut the tool off of the cardboard. So that end where we started, we're going to slip the pair of scissors underneath all those layers of tool so that the scissors are right against the end of the cardboard and cut it away. And I found that it's helpful to get my fingers between the cardboard and the tool and make a little bit of a gap. And that makes it easier to get the scissors in there and they don't get stuck on the tool. So make sure their scissors are right against the end of that cardboard and then simply cut all the layers. And this means I'll have a bunch of pieces of tool all cut to 24 inches in a short amount of time. I'm then going to repeat this step with all four of my colors, so in total I'll have 68 24 inch long pieces of tulle. The amount you need may be different depending on the size of your high chair tray and how full you want your tutu to be. Now we can finally start assembling our tutu. And the first thing I'm gonna do is lay my cord flat on the table and tape it in place. I found that it's easier to tie all the pieces of tool onto the string if that string is taped down. So I can put a little bit of tension on it and not have my string flopping all over the place. I'm gonna take my first piece of tool and run my hand over the entire length of it, scrunching it so it's a little narrower. I'm then going to take the two ends and line them up to make sure that my loop is nice and even. And then I'm gonna put my fingers right at the very center of that loop, pulling it so I know I'm right in the middle. And then to tie this to the cord, I'm gonna spread the loop open a little bit, put it underneath the cord. With my fingers inside that loop, I'm gonna open it up, taking it over the top of the cord, pinching and grabbing the tool that's underneath and pulling that tail up through the loop that we've just made. Then hold on to the string and gently tug on that tool to tighten the knot up a little bit and that's going to make our first loop. I'm going to scooch that to the side and repeat this with all my other pieces of tool. The most important thing to keep in mind when making a tutu is the tension with which you tie these knots. If some are loose and some are really tight, it's going to make it look wonky across the top as some will be bigger and some will be smaller and your spacing between your pieces of tool isn't going to be very consistent. So try and keep an even tension as you make all of your knots. As we continue to add pieces of tool, you can change up the look of your tutu depending on how tight you make your knots and how closely you space those knots together. So mine are fairly evenly spaced with a loose knot, but you can make your tutu fuller or thicker by making your knots tighter and squishing them closer together. Because mine are a little looser, it's going to give me an airy effect, but if you want a really thick and full tutu, squish your pieces of tool really close together and that's going to make it look even fluffier. 
Now that we've got the tutu completed, we can add it to our high chair, and I'm going to be using some clear scotch tape as well as some glue dashes to stick it around the edge of the tray. So first of all, I'm going to fold my tutu in half so I can find the very center of my tutu and align it with the front of the tray. Now you want to make sure you don't twist around any of your knots because the front and the back of the knots do look different. On that center point, I'm going to put one little glue dash right near the top of a knot, flip it around, and put that glue dash right in the center of my high chair. With the center secured in place, I'm going to take the ends of the tutu and wrap them around the edge of my tray so it's nice and snug, making sure that front part doesn't pop up over the corner. And then once I've got it pulled around the back, I'm just going to secure the very end of that string in place with a piece of clear tape. There will naturally be some dips in your tutu between where it's attached to the tray. And I want mine to be nice and straight along the top. So I'm going to add a couple more glue dashes to the back side of a knot and then align the top of my tutu with the top edge of my tray. And this will make it look nice and straight all the way around. And I'm going to add some dashes to the corners so that they don't accidentally pop up over the top. Finally, I'm going to run my fingers gently through all the tool pieces to straighten them out. And this high chair is now ready for its party. I hope you're inspired by today's project and give this one a try. It's an inexpensive and easy decoration for a first birthday party. And honestly, there's so many different ways you can change up the color combinations to suit your party theme. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe below, and don't forget to check out our Patreon group if you'd like to up your party game. Until the next time, you can check out some of my other videos over here. And remember, stay creative, everybody. Bye.